We need to have a discussion about the topic isolation as artists, as actors, as, as artists that are brave enough to actually brave the stage, brave, brave uh, you know, film, to brave becoming actors. See, we're working with the topic of isolation. Isolation can be a very, very, very close friend of an artist, of an actor. See, how you work with isolation, it can do incredible, incredible things for your acting. It can work in ways that can amplify your art, your acting, your ability to both be able to prepare yourself to be able to do and be involved in your acting as well as help you come out of your acting. This is why, you know, when isolation can become your friend, you start to learn that you're developing a technique to be able to do acting. See, I, I remember a few times, there'd be times in, in, in many different uh, uh, things where people would come out of plays or uh, they'd work with different areas or they'd, they'd be in classes and they'd say something and they'd be like, well, they don't know, they just know that, that something about themselves, that as long as they give themselves a time out of some sort after they do their acting, that something helps it to be able to work a little bit easier. That's a huge piece of information that's covering the topic of isolation. Now this isn't permanent isolation, this isn't total withdrawal from everybody permanently from every single thing in life. This is artistic isolation. This is the technique of being able to use isolation to be able to both enter and exit emotional preparations and entering into the emotional world or the emotional ballpark of your acting. And there's this concept of debriefing that I talk about and it's vital, vital, vital to your acting uh, career and your acting abilities because what this does is it actually gets, it, it takes the concept of isolation to a level where now you artistically, you're the artist, you're the actor, you're the one that's choosing your own timing. There are these programs that I use, and I use these programs to do these things like cartoons, to be able to accentuate, to, to, ex, to absolutely um, amplify the emotions that I go through. And when I go through emotions, first of all, I absolutely emotionally prepare, sometimes even before the videos, because I, I love emotional preparation. I love to be able to get myself upset about one thing, get myself upset about another, and then put that into some imaginary work. And these cartoons, there's links in the descriptions below, and they can absolutely, they can amplify those expressions that you can learn to be able to get with your talent. Okay, so feel free, use those links. You're the artist, you're the actor, you're the one that's choosing your own timing to be able to exit your art so you can have a good life. So you don't have to have your artistic baggage around you or in you or activating in you from your acting exercises after you've done your work in acting. So what else can isolation do for you? If isolation is such a close friend to an actor, to an artist, you know, there's this whole concept, and I'm open to all sorts of religions, creeds, whatever it is, I, I, I'm open to whatever it is. It's, I'm not at all privileged to anything. I, I'm very open to the whole thing. But the thing about it is, in the past, there's been many, many, many artists that have described being very close to God or their version of whatever they would consider to be God by crafting this time spent alone by themselves in isolation to be able to enter into their artwork or to be able to exit it. Like I said, right? So 
So this whole isolation topic, first of all, isolation can be extremely, extremely lonely if you're not interplaying with something that's with inside of yourself. And isolation can be an enormous friend if you're processing um, stimulus, right? If you're processing something that stimulated you or, um, you know, you might need to go and do a film and you're working with some really strong actors or you're working in st with strong actors in an acting exercise, you might absolutely go and kind of isolate yourself for an hour and a half after, after your work, process out all of the different constructs that have actually activated in your work, and then start writing them down. Write them down, put everything down on a page, and be very clear with yourself about what it is that you've experienced. There are links in that description that you could actually use to improve your acting. You can help, to, it can help you to improve your creativity. So there are, are um, independent activities, there are reasons at the door, there's lists of programs, there's um, lists of emotions, there's programs that you can do, and there's also ways that you can actually contact me for private coaching. So listen, please, do yourself a favor and check that out, you know, right down there in the description box. Now, the, the danger in this, obviously, is that it comes from the ability for you to, to know yourself, right? So the, the discovery of, of isolation in acting is knowing where your limits are. What is, what are you, are you comfortable uh, sitting down for five minutes and just writing down some of the key notes to be able to use for next time? If so, that might be the entire process that you're working with. But if you're working on some film where you're working on, I don't know, let's say you're working on a, like a serious film of some sort and you work between 20 and 30 emotional preparations for that one picture. Well, you might need a week and a half vacation somewhere or a month to be able to sit and literally put yourself outside of the work and process through every single thing that's gone through in a way where you can then go on and have a good life after, right? This is key. So isolation is not something that uh, is a negative emotion. Isolation is is not something that's necessarily positive, but it's not necessarily negative. And the artists that actually work with stuff that's actually activated within them need and require the use of isolation to be able to both enter and exit their work, obviously. Hi, I'm inviting you to actually join me live on the internet. And uh, if you would, you can bring your own emotional preparation. We can work on emotional preparation together and we can really hone down and help build out that talent with inside of you. Now, even if all it is, is you wanna just bring an emotional preparation, do a spoon river, I don't mind. Come, join us and absolutely practice the talent of your own acting. So, what can you gain what can you gain with isolation? You can gain introspection. You can um, gain growth. You can literally have this incredible, incredible growth in yourself when you isolate after doing your work. Or when you have a moment, it could even be just five minutes, where you're having a moment of introspection on your work. Now this isn't a matter of of being in a situation where you're getting completely heady about everything. It's not a matter of you working so that you can try and plan your next execution. It's a matter of staying in that buoyancy as an artist, as an actor, so that you can actually then find that balance within yourself that both has the depth of life, of depth of the being side of acting, as well as the receiving side of doing, or the receiving side of, of interaction. And that way, you're able to be in this ebb and flow that's capable of being able to be achieved in your acting, which is key, key.
key. So I'd like for you, if you're willing to, if you want to, boop the like button and let me know how you use isolation in acting or as an artist. You know, there are times where, um, you know, some people have the opinion and it's viable because they literally have the opinion that emotional preparation, the process of emotional preparation, which is the process of an actor withdrawing into themselves to be able to harness their talent to be able to have this thing that's called uh, emotional preparation. They are literally in a, a moment of isolation where they are pulling themselves into a situation where they then purposefully activate a part of their emotional selves. And in this isolation see the other component of this is it, it offers this incredible protection so you are in an encapsulated environment where what you emotionally stimulate you're going to start to be able to feel the effects of and then the craft of that technique is the ability to get the visceral responses that come up from that and actually get that with enough acting muscle to be able to actually get that into the acting or the interaction. So it's worth, take some time, work out, you know, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe a half an hour uh, and sit and really brainstorm for yourself what isolation, what the actual, when isolation can actually be your friend. And then start to work with that so that you're able to be able to be more of an artist and you're able to actually work so that you're, you're crafting your own actual career in acting. It's vital. You don't need somebody else's technique. You need to be able to find the techniques that can be those small little ingredients that can actually be activation qualities that can actually activate in your work. And it's absolutely vital to do releasing processes after your work so that you're not worrying or carrying around the acting baggage from all the acting exercises. Okay, so until next time, thanks. Okay, so I teach people how to get upset. I have a lot of fun teaching people how to literally purposefully upset themselves, actually waking their own activations up so that they're emotionally activated. There's something that they can get upset about within a ballpark of emotion. But the key, the absolute key, is I don't want you to carry around that stuff in your life. That's what's called acting baggage. You want to be able to learn a technique. I have to be able to tell you that it's, it would be a disservice for me to teach you all of these incredible techniques on how to access yourself as an artist without reminding you very nicely that you don't need your acting baggage in life. So feel free, work on processes where you have a release time after you're doing your acting. And what this will do is it will actually amplify your work because it will give your acting muscles the break that they need in order to get the rest that they need so that your work will be even stronger. Okay, thanks very much.